All right, welcome back for episode seven of this Let's Play as Julii. So we're pushing through the mountains over towards the settlement from Gaul. We got a decent sized garrison there. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on what the uh, troops out here in the open field are doing. Because we don't want to get into a situation where we end up in a siege and then they get a big stack of reinforcements against what is a decent but not a max power and um, diverse force. And I say that in that I only have one squad of, of range units and I don't have any cavalry outside of the generals. So we'll have to get more, more guys over that way. Now for, let's see, do some construction here. Not producing here. So this is a settlement that I may end up having to defend from the British. Hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get stone walls there. I normally don't prioritize walls, but in a spot like that it might be necessary. Got peasants training. We slowed down on recruitment. And after having looked at my my uh, force that's on the move, I am actually going to queue up some Velites. Retrain these guys. And get some cavalry there. Yep, so they're on the way. Hmm. Okay. Give me a thousand gold. Alright, and this is what I wanted to keep an eye on. And I can't get my spy across his bridge because of this commander. So let's move him down one tile. And maybe that will cue this guy to move this direction or just get off the bridge. And I'm actually going to send this guy out of the force. Scout forward. So mostly spear warbands, basic warbound troops. So I'm going to hold up here. and either wait for them to engage me or wait for reinforcements. Move out. Sir. Move out. All right, what do we got on the way here? Prince Pays, Moristati. Sir. Do I have I feel like I had somewhere I could get a merchant from. I get yep, looks like it's here. We'll get a merchant there. I have Velites who we can move forward. Onward, General. Sir. And what else is going on? So these guys forward. Far can these guys move? Yeah, they can move far enough. I was considering trying to lay a siege and do a one turn siege, get some rams and whatnot, and then assault the walls, but they're going to be able to get there in one turn, so yes, we're going to wait on that. Yes, master. Some more troops from Britannia on the move. Yes. Sir. Let's see. Dacian territory. Let's send him back up this way and see what's going on with uh, Germania. Yes, moves depleted, sir. I believe all my spies are where I want them. 
outside of the limitations of this guy's movement, but now I can see this area because of him. Good thing I noticed that he was in this force. Whoops. Like when I ended the turn, my mouse was scrolling down, but actually, this made me notice that the Scipio I have made it onto Northern Africa. A little fight with Carthage, the Brutii are seemingly losing ground to the Greek city-states. see okay that's what we like to see that also could be good holy hell okay that's a lot going on I'm not gonna manage that right now I'll, I'll do that before the next episode so people don't have to sit through me sorting that out a lot of construction done recruitment so we got a let's see where is he and a merchant here. That is huge. Holy shit. Okay, let's get him over there trading wine. Securing resources. We got... So I have a spy in here. Because I can move him out as well. Let's send him up this way. And this general, we're going to send right here. That watchtower down. It doesn't seem like they did anything for me. That's unfortunate. A rebel force we're gonna have to deal with. So that's actually not a bad opportunity for me to get some experience on one of these guys. So move them over there. The cavalry involved. Okay. Ready to sail. Could bring these boats back, but I don't need to. Imperators. These guys merge up with the force. General. And we'll hit this guy. Victory. He's gonna back up. Your honor. Where did that other army go? Okay, so it looks like he's trying to make his way through here. So, General. Mm, that actually could be a good thing for me because what that means is that I can fortify here. In fact, I think it's time to start funneling guys out of Sejusta. And get one squad of peasants just in case this guy passes away. Wanna make sure we have some kind of garrison in there. And then this general. I think we're gonna send him out next turn. Actually, let's do it this turn. Hopefully he has enough movement range. Whoops. Okay. There we go. Got that guy a little bit of experience. Did he... There we go. Plus one command. That's what I was looking for. Get them back in the city. And as I was saying, this is a good time for us to fortify this city because it looks like that's the target of these Gallic forces. So given that, let's push here. Of course, we've run out of, <laughs> run out of movement. And let's get to construction. So this is our capital. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That costs 2,000, generates 180. Okay, so I think we're going for these roads here. And here, what do we produce here? Bellates. Okay. Mostly just infantry. Go for a legionary barracks. Many Elanium, so this is gonna be the place that we're defending. So let's get walls here. And then Sejusta. Whatever's gonna give us the most population growth. 
only takes two turns, so we'll get to the temple first. Now, because I'm getting public order stabilized over Patavium, we're going to send these Hastati this way. We're going to prioritize keeping troops in Mediolanum. And then if Britannia sends, sends troops this way, then we can reinforce Patavium. But for now, I think we're safe with what we have. Okay, spies. So this guy, let's track these troops. Guy's out of move. At your service. This guy will put him up on this little hillside. Nothing too crazy. Whoopsies. Got about him. So it looks like Germania is going to try to break this siege. I really hope they can. I would like to be able to make it through the campaign with an ally outside of the just the other Roman factions. Defeat an imminent mission. Egypt. Oh wow, okay. Well honestly there's nothing I can really do about Egypt. Tabium, we got walls. I could try to throw a force on a boat and then sail down there, but I really don't I really don't think that's worth my time. see what else can I get here so you know what this is somewhere that I'm getting cavalry from so I think I'm gonna make this my main cavalry production place so we'll get a blacksmith here and then we'll upgrade that Sir. those stables afterwards the this guy oh he's gonna fight with these reinforcements okay let's see what happens here We lost about a quarter of our force. Would have been a lot worse. Okay. Rams will be up next turn. And here they come. So... Do I ride out and engage them? Hmm. I need to start training though. Did I finish any construction? I guess not. Okay. Got to recruit. I probably should have been doing more recruiting before. I'm going to go for mostly infantry. Train these guys with better weapons. I believe that's what they're retraining for. The weapons or experience? Yeah, weapons. A blacksmith and a, and a grove. So, recruitment is set. Could I get. Can I get. No, I can't get Hastati and Sedgis stuff. And actually, it looks like I can get another. I didn't realize that I had a marketplace in Sedgis stuff, so I can get another merchant. Speaking of, let's get this guy down on the wine. Or anybody else gets there. Can I be of Keep this guy there. Awaiting your command. Getting vision on that. And your honor. This guy will head up here. Is assured. Your honor. Secrecy is assured. Yes, so I will keep moving. inching behind their force. And this is going to be a hell of a battle. Ooh. Hmm. Do I have a spy in here? No, I moved him out. So what I just noticed was they have a spy in my city. And he can open up walls. Or open up the gate. If you don't get him out. There's some kind of percentage chance based on his skill level. So, can I get a spy from here? I can. 
I think they're gonna hit me this turn though. Let's see. Yeah, so probably not worth it. Yep, this guy's where I want him. I do like the feature where they check if you're intending to have your uh, agents without orders. It's easy to forget about them in this game. Of course, these guys are allies again. They break their alliances. The, the AI are so fickle with diplomacy in this game. Okay, so just uh, we finished that up. Yes. This guy. What kind of resources are there? Wine. Hmm. Get him up that way. And then Sedgesta, uh, we will get a. Good communal farms. Hmm. Looks like they th they're backing up. Either that or they have troops in woods that I can't see. It's also quite possible. Move all the reinforcements together. Oops, those guys could have made it right there, but whoops. Bad order. Get more cavalry. More Velites. We're good on infantry for now. And I believe all I can train here is infantry, so yep. Even that as is. Your honor. Secrecy is a shame. I'm down here. I could hit these guys, but what I'm going to do is try to way, on my way. starve them out for a little while. And if I can, if I can soften up the garrison, then I'll strike after having done so. But for now, Moving. Hmm. I'll probably lose more guys than I need to if I if I assault the walls right now. I'm going to wait for now. And once these troops get up here, it might be time to march a, a second force out of Mediolanum and get another general Orders. with some experience on his hands. And Marcus Julius is going to be the guy for that. Yep, he's where I want him. Where did they come from? I wonder if they were in the woods and I and I couldn't see them. Things. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that because they're enemies with Britannia. Until next time. And they're also allies with Gaul. Okay, the good thing is these guys do not have a commander. Let's get those troops there. Got some new cavalry. Merge with them. And then I'm gonna leave Manny as Julius. I'm gonna have this guy make the attack order. Oh, I guess I don't have a choice. He has to be the commander. Hmm. Shit, we lost a lot of guys. Victory! Pushed them off, but damn, that was a... Let's see, compact them. Do some retraining. Actually, let's get a time check. 19 minutes, okay. So I'll retrain those guys. And more reinforcements on the way. I don't need to worry as much about them. Well, I was gonna say meeting up, but that was the only squad I hadn't moved from any of these cities I was training in. Dealt with those. Manius got some more command. Construction of Mediolanum. And we are keeping a governor here, so I'm going to get an academy. I'm going to leave Manius there as the 
as a governor and have uh, Marcus march out as the general. What is two? Oh yeah, two is the settlement level, not the number of turns until the garrison starts diminishing. Your Honor. So we're fine to stay here. Their other troops are elsewhere. Awaiting your command. This guy's on the way. Securing resources. Got our spies where I want them. Actually, I'm gonna float this guy a little bit higher. Let's see. Yeah, that gives us some better vision with him. And then we're gonna leave this guy here. And move him a little bit over. And that's about the vision that I want. Secrecy is assured. Alright. There's one other thing I was thinking about. What did I wanna do? Got recruitment. Construction. Let's see. Okay, so Egypt, this is what I wanted to check on. Territorial ranking. They have 13 settlements. I think they need 15 in order to win. Gaul has seven. We have five. Gaul has seven. Tony has 11. Germania has two. Well, I'm surprised they've actually held on to those two settlements they have. Although, it looks like that is about to not be the case anymore. Sir. Anyways, that's a good time to stop. I'll figure out what I was thinking about later. Um, I'll, I'll get our followers rearranged. Looks like I got a bunch of retinue expansions, so we'll be able to reprioritize some things, get more leadership on, on our faction leader, probably get some, some more management on our governors here and here. And uh, until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.